Hello, my name is Nicholas Papagala. I'm on the Lumix Luminary team, and I'm gonna to talk to you about how to tether with the Lumix GH5. Welcome back. Today we're talking about how to tether with the Lumix GH5. We're gonna bring you through all the steps and show you everything you need to know. So the first thing you need is a camera that is tether capable. So the GH5, has firmware that's upgraded it to be able to tether. So make sure your firmware is updated to at least 2.0 for this next step. The next thing you're gonna need is a tether cable. So this is a tether tools cable. It's longer and it's orange so you don't trip over it and your clients don't trip over it. The third thing you're gonna need is a laptop. There's also a few pieces of software you're gonna need. You're gonna need the Lumix Tether application. That's a free app you can download from Panasonic and you're gonna need Lightroom to be able to bring it in. Now you don't need to use Lightroom, but that's the workflow that I'm gonna be showing today is how to get the image from your camera to the Lumix Tether program right into Lightroom so you're off and editing right away. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is plug in your USB cable and then select on the screen PC Tether. Now your camera is able to tether. Your next step is to open the Lumix Tether program on your laptop. Now you're gonna see all of your controls in the Lumix Tether program, and you'll be able to select your aperture, ISO, everything that's on your camera you'll see here. The most important part is setting up your watched folder. So I'm gonna click setting on the lower right hand corner. Then I'm gonna click the import folder as user setting and then it's called reference. So we're gonna reference this folder. I'm gonna make a new folder, and for this purpose, I'm gonna just call it Lumix Tether. And we're gonna open that folder. Be sure to save your settings. My next step is to open Lightroom. Go in Lightroom to File, Auto Import, Auto Import Settings. So be sure to click Enable Auto Import as your first option. Your watched folder you're gonna select now is the one you just made in your Lumix Tether program. So you're gonna select that same folder, hit Choose, and then be sure to save your settings at the bottom by hitting OK. Now you're ready to start shooting. As you begin to shoot, you're going to be able to have the images in about four seconds populate in Lightroom. So I'd like to go over some optional hardware now that makes my life tethering in the studio much smoother. So the most inexpensive but valuable piece of equipment I have is this little jerk stopper. What this does is keep the pressure off of your port. So many people will break their port or break their wire by stepping on the cord or by tripping over it or having a client trip over it. What happens here is the weight is now on this jerk stopper. So the next optional piece of equipment is a tether table's arrow. This table is super sturdy and is on a stand that I can raise or lower to bring to the appropriate height. It also has a safety strap to keep my laptop from getting pulled over, I, uh, an optional cup holder or a lens holder, a place for a hard drive, and a place for my wire to store. So the last piece of equipment is a HDMI output of my laptop to a large screen TV. I use a 65 inch Vizio TV and the picture is enormous. It's great for critical focus and for seeing your images and having them populate as your client is looking at them. So once again, thank you for watching our video of how to tether with the Lumix GH5. Be sure to subscribe and check out the product links below to help support our videos and to get discounts.